Hello everyone, this is Video Oswald channel. Today we learn how to design a uh, foundation of a multi-story building. First of all, we uh, design or uh, we uh, create a model, then uh, assign loads of a multi-story building in Stat Pro. After that, to we design the foundation of the building. So first we select space structure. <coughs> Title is foundation meter units meter and length add beam finish we assume a plan a very simple plan of a of the building this is the column rough drawing of the building we assume all column by 600 by 600 mm and uh, we assume the beam uh, cross section is 300 by 500 and each span is 5 meter let's start first we create a joint close the grid then we select the joint by the node cursor then click on the translate repeat tool direction is x step 2 spacing 5 link ok press escape button for normal cursor mm, so select the beams and translate in z direction same step link same spacing ok this is the plan select control a by uh, select the plan by control a then again go to the translate repeat to select y direction for uh, building floors number of floors is six spacing is three meter of each floor link okay and delete the uh, base beam uh, you see here when we delete the um, already selected uh, base beam uh, what happened this beam also delete so we uh, we press control Z undo ok <coughs> so first step <coughs> we create a model second step we apply support then third we apply properties then we apply load then last step is we after design after analyze this model uh, model uh, last step is uh, foundation so first uh, second step is to assign support go to the front view and create uh, fix support select the base joint assign next step is apply property go to the property then define rectangle for column 0 0.6 0 0.6 concrete material add for beam 0.6 sorry 5 500 mm depth and 300 mm width add close this properties belong to the columns so we have to select columns so for column select go to the select tool and beam parallel to y and apply this property to the column select next property and select beam by the parallel to x and parallel to z <coughs> The first step is modeling, second step is support, third step is property and fourth step is load. Uh, we define a load case of dead load and a load case for live load. Click on dead load and add cell fit and click on live load, add floor load. 0 minus means downward 5 0 to <coughs> 30 meter sorry 18 meter apply self it now we make a load combination 1.5 factor of safety dead load plus live load 
bath load move here 1.5 factor of safety add clause go to the analyst and print all add clause and analyze model is complete after model analysis we have to design foundation why we analyze a model analysis model because for foundation we require the <coughs> this load support reaction moment after analysis uh, the support reaction and uh, forces calculate by the software now we easily design foundation go to the stat foundation from here Uh, it's asking which load I am click on this load and run as stat pro foundation stat pro foundation is open by scroll check zoom in this is the support support 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or you say 6 column or you say 6 foundation a yellow color this is the reactions on that support go to the job setup create jobs here uh, isolated Indian select the load create job after creating job you see here a new option of isolated footing click concrete and rubber properties this property you change your requirement cover and soil footing geometry and sliding and last step is designing click on design this is the manually calculation of each footing and this is the drawing of the footing and this is the detailing of the footing you change footing size from footing number from here we have nine footing okay now you see here <coughs> important thing this column footing size is this this is the footing size of this column okay for this column footing size is this you see here the all footing of this building is merge because of the low bearing capacity and high vertical the gravity load this footing size for uh, for bearing the load of on that column we require the size of this footing and for this column we require this size but when we design this size of footing these footings are uh, overlapped so now you uh, you think which type of foundation we design for this building because all foundation is merged that's why we have to design a raft foundation for this okay now what we do close that foundation i am <coughs> i'm, I'm reduce the load uh, this pressure is 0 0.5 okay now we analyze this structure and again go to the foundation repeat the same steps and check what is the change in the foundation create job create isolated Indian create job isolated design parameter you change your parameters and click on design go to the drawing now you see when we reduce the load this foundation change into the isolated footing each foundation design uh, <coughs> is isolated foundation when we increase the load this uh, area of the found of individual foundation is increased and that's why 
and <coughs> they overlap and we understand that uh, we require for rock foundation for this wood. This is the schedule of the footing. Uh, this is the uh, isolated footing uh, of our a multi-story building. If you like, please subscribe, please, please subscribe, share, like and comment. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.